Hi there, it's Yunus, and in this lesson I'm going to cover more about mathematical operations that we can perform on uh, different variables. So let's start by including our header files. We're going to use iStream using namespace std and we'll initialize our main function. So for this lesson I was thinking about maybe creating a program that will calculate the simple simple interest so for the formula for the simple interest is interest equals the principal or let's say the amount of money that we had times the rate times the time that is spent in our account for this program we'll need to use double because we have to include cents as well so it's not gonna be a whole number so let's create a four variables for each of them double amount and let's initialize it to 15,000 our rate uh, rate is gonna be double as well rate double and let's say the rate is 5% but you'll have to divide it by 100 so that's actually gonna be 0.05 this means 5% and I, we can leave time as integer because let's say each month our interest goes by 5% from the amount so let's say integer time and uh, we'll initialize it time to one year that's gonna be 12 month let's calculate our formulas oh we forgot to create a variable for interest so interest is going to be double interest we don't know the interest amount yet so we'll initialize it to zero for now let's actually calculate our in, uh, interest so we'll say interest equals amount times rate times time and uh, let's display that on the screen interest uh, let's not forget return zero let's build around this program oh let's comment this out All right so if we build around this program we got nine thousand. That mean that means if each month uh, we have five percent interest from fifteen thousand in one year, we can earn nine thousand dollars. And on top of that, we can display the total as well. So let's say amount plus interest. This means our initial amount plus the money that we earned on interest if we add them together it gives us the total amount of money in our account let's run this 24,000 that means we multiplied amount by rate by time it gets 9,000 and 9,000 plus 15,000 it gave us 24,000 total. Um, thank you for watching.